When you're a fountain pen enthusiast such as I, most ballpoint pens seem boring, dull, and lacking excitement. They don't have the unique personality that comes with a fountain pen's nib and filling mechanism. When you've written with one ballpoint pen, you've written with them all, right? Well, I searched over 1,000 ballpoints in the Goldspot Pen Store to show you the 10 most unusual ballpoints that might change your mind. We'll start this list off with pens that slightly deviate from the usual and get even more unusual later in the video. First up, we have the Diplomat Elox. This is made out of twice anodized solid aluminum. It's weighted, it has a matte finish on the black areas and the blue areas have that bright, vibrant blue. There's also a version that's orange as well. It's really contrasted beautifully and has concentric rings cut out of this material. The twist action is really smooth and just feels very balanced and comfortable in your hand while giving that extra bit of subtle heft. The refill inside is a Parker style type ballpoint cartridge. It's actually, it actually says Easy Flow on here. It's made in Germany by Diplomat. This unique Diplomat Elox is $188 on the Goldspot Pens website. Next, we have the Caveco Lilliput Fire Blue Ballpoint Pen. This is a compact, pocket-friendly ballpoint pen, as you can see, much, much smaller than the Diplomat Elox. It's made from solid steel, and it's hand-torched using a 600-degree flame. I actually had seen Michael Gutberlet, the C uh, CEO of Caveco, hand torch parts of a Lilliput pen before. Actually in Germany, he says that he had done most of the initial hand torchings of the Lilliput Fire Blue, um, but I think that it's all handmade, it's all hand done in Germany uh, from steel components here. And there's really not too much to this pen until you take apart the three parts here. You have the barrel, you have the cap, and then you have the grip section with the nose cone, uh, which has then the mechanism for the ballpoint pen. So to access the refill, we unscrew this part here, and you'll see it's a Kaveco Soul 1.0 ballpoint refill, which is actually a D1 refill. So you just pull the mechanism off the back end of it, and then you'd be able to refill it using any D1 compatible cartridge, uh, which includes Monteverde, Schmidt makes them, a lot of different companies make the same exact cartridge. So this is a pocket-sized pen, as you can see, without the cap, it's kind of very small. It's almost the size of just one of my fingers here. But you can screw the cap on the back, and the little put becomes a full-size pen, which has got an ample amount of weight to it because of its complete steel construction. And for $145, you could find this Caveco Lilliput Fire Blue and in all of its hand torch glory on the Goldspot website. Next, we have the pen that's advertised as the world's most comfortable pen. This is the Sensa Classic, and it has a plasmium gel grip, which displaces finger pressure and just feels very comfortable. It's almost like your fingers are sitting on a sofa. It's, uh, it, it does have like, a bit of give to it, and you know, just very, it feels very comfortable overall. Uh, the rest of the pen itself is a straight cylinder, uh, so really not much in terms of balance or shape here, like the Elox would be. It's, it, it's not much in terms of that, but really what it's all about is this grip. And so if you have a very tight vice-like grip on your pens, um, this will help kind of mitigate the pressures uh, that your fingertips will put on a pen barrel. The barrel itself is available in a lot of different finishes. So this is a aqua checkerboard type finish. There's also a couple of uh, wild safari type finishes, then classic lacquers and whatnot. Uh, so there's a lot to then pair with your personality, something that you like. To activate the pen's retraction mechanism, you have the twist top that's up top here. The refill inside is lo and behold, a Parker style type ballpoint refill with a spring. And you can find the Sensa Classic pens for $60.35 on goldspot.com. We took a look at this pen a few weeks ago. This is the Faber-Castell Grip Glam, and this is the ballpoint pen. This pen has a three-sided ergonomic type profile, it's a rounded three-sided profile with raised dots 
um, that have a rubberized texture to them. So it really does give you a unique sort of just a really cool experience with this pen, very tactile, uh, which is a calling card of Faber-Castell. Uh, the Glam is actually part of a new set that has an iridescent finish uh, to the plastic material, although there are a whole bunch of other finishes, pearlized colors, very colorful finishes in the grip collection. To replace the refill, we unscrew the nose cone and we find yet another Parker style type ballpoint cartridge, which Faber-Castell makes. It's called the XB cartridge. You would attach it to the spring that's here and then put it back into the pen. And for $14, this is one of the most affordable German-made ballpoint pens that we have on this list and also one of the coolest and probably most accessible for uh, younger audiences because of the, the fun colors and the ergonomic qualities. Next, we have the Pelican K205 Golden Barrel Ballpoint Pen. Now, this is a pen that has got some elegance, some sparkle, some personality to it. It's a very, very elegant pen, just very elegant. Uh, so this pen is part of a special edition that's introduced every year where Pelican will take the ink of the year, Edelstein ink of the year, and then create a pen collection that references it. So last year we have the Golden Barrel Ballpoint Pen and Fountain Pen, um, of which then has a sparkly complexion to the uh, transparent. So it's got a smoky demonstrator type body where you could see the inner threads and the mechanism of the ballpoint as well as the spring and the ballpoint itself. So, and you'd see the spring at the bottom too. So you see pretty much everything in this pen, uh, but it's overlaid with a sparkly golden sheen. And when you hit the clicker mechanism to actuate the ballpoint, you can actually see the refill as it's turning around. So you can see the Pelican logo kind of flipping around every time that I click it. So very, very satisfying, very fidget worthy, uh, and very cool to see the inner workings of a ballpoint pen in such an elegant pen. The Pelican comes with yet another Parker style type ballpoint cartridge of which Pelican calls the 337 type cartridge. So these are available in a bunch of different tip sizes, fine, medium, broad, I believe. Uh, but these are also made in Germany with an ISO uh, 12757, which I think is document proof. So this is a type of ink that you would be able to use and know that it's not going to be erased from your documents. And at $165, the Pelican 205 Golden Barrels, a little bit on the pricier side, but it does bring a lot of beauty and uh, intricacy into the mix. So next we have another clear demonstrator pen in the Pilot B2P recycled ballpoint pen, which looks like what it's been recycled out of, which is a water bottle. It's made from 86% recycled content, of which water bottles make up the majority of it. Uh, and it does have a clear look, so you could see through to the refill that's inside, as well as the spring and the mechanism as you click it. Um, not as satisfying as seeing the Pelican click, but it still is pretty cool. So it is refillable using the one of the most common and beloved refills that Pilot makes, which is the G2 gel refill. This is a refill that you'd see in any Pilot rollerball type pen, um, and a lot of the G2 pens that you're familiar with already. Um, so it's a very adaptable type of refill, much similarly to the Parker style ballpoint refill, uh, of which costs about half of what this pen costs total, um, but this is a very affordable pen at $2.29. Um, so definitely the most affordable pen on this list uh, and the most ecologically conscious. Next, we have a pen that you see often on our top five videos and in general on the Goldspot website because a lot of uh, Goldspot exclusives are made out of this particular pen model. This is the Retro 51 Tornado. And usually we refer to them as rollerball pens, but uh, I would say they stray more in the ballpoint pen category, especially since you can switch out the refill and put a Parker style type refill in it. Um, so it's a very simple design. It's just a tapered ballpoint pen with a twist top and a clip. But what really makes it so unusual and so unique is the fact that Retro 51 just has an unlimited palette of, it, it, it's just a canvas for creativity. So there's just so many different ways that 
Retro 51 has gone with designs for tornado pens, being able to apply printed designs, uh, patterns like in this F14 Tomcat, they're etched with acid, uh, texturized with lacquer, uh, printed on with glow in the dark, as in Sparky here, uh, has glow in the dark wherever you would see white. Um, and then also too, as we have a little bit of a sneak peek for you guys, an upcoming edition of the Seven Chakras, uh, which is also glow in the dark as well and screen printed in several different colors. Uh, so with this particular edition, what makes it really unusual is that you would have also a lot of creative collaborations with people from all sorts of different walks of life, illustrators, artists, uh, tattoo artists, um, graphic designers, so many different people actually put their input into designing these pens and reinvigorating interest in the Retro 51 Tornado collection. Uh, so it's very highly collectible as well because there's so many different themes that hit with people, space themes, uh, history, uh, so many different themes that are out there that can potentially connect with you. So the Retro Tornado collection starts at $24 for the standard lacquer colors, and then editions like the Tomcat, which are acid etched or have a lot of different other components to it, can be upwards of $56 or more possibly. So um, there you have it. Always stay tuned for more designs that are on the Goldspot website. So what pen do you know that you could actually write for life? I mean, you could write with a fountain pen for life and just keep refilling it with ink, but a ballpoint pen and not have to replace the ballpoint cartridge, that's what the Fisher Space Pens Infinium can do for you. Not only can this pen write upside down in temperatures of negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit or in excess of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, underwater, zero gravity, this, this pressurized refill can do it all because of Fisher's patented special refill that they have, right? But on top of that, the Infinium is so unusual because it's packed with enough ink that Fisher guarantees it will last a lifetime. So even in the pamphlet that's included with the pen, it will say if the pen runs out of ink, you could send it to Fisher and they will replace it or fix it free of charge. And I think that's just amazing and highly unusual for any pen to guarantee that for life. And I mean, you do kind of pay for it with the Infinium design because it is one of Fisher's most premium uh, models where Fisher is usually selling pens in the $30 to $40 range. The Infinium starts at $136 uh, for this chrome finish model and then $170 for the nitride finishes. But uh, it is one of the coolest pens in Fisher's lineup that is a pen that you would have for life. And next we have the Pocketable Lamy Pico. This pen lives up to its name with such a very short brevity, sort of truncated name. And it has such a cool like space age design with a German Bauhaus style. Uh, all you would have to do is just press the plunger like I did here. And the pen actually extends out to a comfortable writing length and also protracts the point. Press it again and it becomes a little compact little tiny cylinder again. So, and it's also built with this roll stop. So the only branding on this pen is this small little protrusion of a roll stop that will prevent your Pico from rolling right off the table if you gently hit it. So if you really let it go, then it will probably have enough momentum to get off the table, but it will stop it. It will give some hesitation there. There are a lot of different styles. I picked the chrome one to show here because it just looks so sleek and cool. Um, but you would find a lot of different styles on the goldspot.com website, including brightly colored ones um, that you could easily find in your pocket or bag. The Pico actually uses a proprietary cartridge. So instead of a, a standard Parker style type ballpoint refill, you have an M22 cartridge, which is only made by Lamy in Germany and fits right in the pen just as so here. Uh, you can find this particular Pico at $39.20 on the website, and there are a whole bunch of different styles, like I mentioned, and they do have a couple of premium finishes that are at an additional cost. And for the most unusual pen in our lineup, we have the Monteverde One Touch Tool Pen. This is a pen with many talents. It is a, a brass construction pen with a PVD rainbow gradient coating. So, 
first of all, it looks impressive to begin with. It looks very unusual because it's very eye-catching, very colorful, has kind of a, a very highly polished mirror type finish. Uh, and then on top of that, you have additional functions that you could use with just the regular ballpoint refill, right? So first of all, you notice you have a capacitive touch stylus at the top here. So you could use this with any of your smartphones, tablets, whatnot, and keep your screen free of fingerprints. Then you could unscrew this part and access a Phillips head screwdriver. But wait, there's more. You could take out the Phillips head screwdriver and then pop in the flathead screwdriver, which you'll actually need to use this, and I'll show you in just a second why. So then you have a bubble level. So this is helpful if, let's say, you're hanging pictures or uh, doing anything that related to building stuff and you need to make sure things are level. You could just set it down and check out if it's level. Is it stable level? Yeah, just about. Then you have several different rulings on here. So you could then measure something on the fly, see how long, let's say a Pico is. You can measure it on here, just set it next to anything that you need to measure and measure it in either metric or imperial measurement. And then last but not least, we have the ballpoint itself, of which is refilled by pulling out the front part here. And then you would be like, okay, well, let's say I want to refill it and take out the refills. Like, how do I do this? Well, you would use the Phillips head and actually unscrew the refill from the back of the, um, the mechanism here. And this is a D1 like you had seen with the Lilliput before. This is the same D1 type cartridge that's made by Monteverde here. So you would just replace the cartridge here screw that back in and then just tighten it up using the Phillips head and pop it back in your Monteverde tool pen. So overall, a very useful, very cool pen. Could kind of say it's a multifunctional pen more than a ballpoint pen. Um, but for multifunction, I would usually think that it would be the type that you would switch between the different modes for writing. I kind of see this as a, a multi-tool type of pen. So it not only just writes, but it does other things that lets you uh, be more productive uh, or creative in your pursuits. So at $31.95, this is a pretty economical, very nice fine writing instrument that does a lot more for you than just write as a ballpoint pen does. If you regularly use any of these ballpoint pens, don't be shy. Let us know how you enjoy using these pens in the comments below. Hit the like button if this video showed you a cool pen that you've never seen before. For more videos on ballpoint pens, check out this top five that has all of the classic pens everyone should know. Also, check out this quick tip video on how to replace the refill on your Retro 51 pen to write with a Parker style cartridge. Subscribe to the Goldspot Pens channel and keep in touch about all of the latest and greatest in fine writing. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.